Hi, this is Linda Caffey, once again with the Team Run Smart Cafe. Um, this time I'm going to cook steaks. I, last time we were at home, I bought two ribeyes from our local butcher, and I am going to make it in my KitchenAid. So, I have a really neat recipe I like to do with steaks, and first off, I want to cook them at a really high heat, because Bob and I both like our steaks medium rare. So the recipe calls for um, butter, of course. So um, I'm going to go ahead. It's, it calls for a tablespoon, two tablespoons of butter. That looks close enough for me. And then it also calls for a tablespoon of oil. I like avocado oil. And like I've said before, I keep all my, if I have anything that's glass, I keep it in a koozie so it won't rattle going down the road. Um, <laughs> I left my one tablespoon measuring spoon at home last time, so I'm going to just add some in, and we're going to let that mix together, the butter and the avocado oil, and then while that's doing it, I'm going to salt and pepper our steaks. Um, so I have some fresh cut. Uh, I think my blades are gone on my pepper mill. And then we've got, I've got a sea salt grinder also. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it. Neither Bob or I are very much fans of a lot of salt. I'm going to turn them over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And one thing about it, that is going to be... What? When you grind it, yeah, right. uh, that, That's starting to get really hot. and So, I, uh, and I, I will tell you, I did burn myself pretty bad cooking steaks in this one time with that hot of oil, uh, as I set them in, the butter splashed up onto my arm, and um, I'm still actually trying to heal from that one. It was, it was pretty painful. Lesson learned on being a lot more careful when I'm cooking with something this, this hot and not really having the right equipment. I mean, I have my spoon right here, and that's basically what I'll use to set these in and also to turn them with. So, looks like that's getting all melted up. But what I really want on our steaks is a really crisp outside and a warm red center is my goal. So, as you can see, they're pretty thick, so it's going to take a little while to cook these. So I'm going to set these down in here. I let them start cooking, and then also uh, something else that I mixed up. Uh, sometimes I I remember to get this done. Sometimes I don't. But um, I took butter yesterday, and I got let it get soft, and I added uh, parsley. Let me smell this. I added uh, garlic powder, parsley, uh, some fresh thyme, and a little bit of lemon zest, and. Just about the time these get done cooking, we'll put I'll put some of this on there, and then when I serve it, I will go ahead and put another scoop of butter on here. And uh, it's it's really really good, and it just it adds instead because we don't usually use steak sauce at all, and the butter uh, just kind of kind of sets it all off. So I'm gonna let these cook for a little bit.